हेलो एवरी वन एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एडोपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोज हाई आई एम पीयूष अग्रवाल एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टू यू सर्टन बेसिक्स ऑफ दी वास्ट टॉपिक कॉल्ड नंबर सिस्टम अंडर दिस फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल आई विल बी डीलिंग विद द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ नंबर्स ऑन नंबर लाइन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स First of all, we'll define what is a number. A number is a word, symbol, or figure representing a certain quantity and helps in counting and making calculations. So, as we all know, in different parts of the world, different representations or symbols are used to specify the numbers. But the basic concept remains same that is they all signify a certain quantity or are used for counting or making calculations now we'll define what is a number line as you can see this is a number line on which there are certain positive numbers certain negative numbers marked on it and it ends in two arrow heads so in order to define number line we can say that a number line is a virtual straight line a number line is a virtual straight line on which every point you pick up any point every point represents or is assumed to correspond to a real number so only real numbers can be represented on a number line and every number line and every real number to a point the properties of number line are that the positive numbers are represented on the right side of the zero and the negative numbers are represented on the left side of zero and the two arrow heads two arrow heads suggest that the line continues indefinitely in opposite directions we all know that both the positive numbers and the negative numbers are indefinite are infinite in numbers hence the line the arrow heads on the line represent that represent that infinity now as we all know that on a number line only real numbers can be represented so we'll try to classify the real numbers so the real numbers are basically made up of two types of numbers that is rational numbers and irrational numbers we'll go into explanation later on but let us first understand the terms the rational numbers and irrational numbers make up the real numbers the rational numbers can further be classified into integers and fractions now integers what are integers integers are basically positive zero and negative the positive integers are also called natural numbers now if the set of natural numbers or the positive integers are included with a zero then the whole set becomes whole numbers so this is the complete representation of real numbers now we will start defining the various types of numbers first of all we will learn what this is natural number now all the natural numbers are represented by letter n on a number line we can see that 1 2 3 4 5 these numbers are circled so these points which represents 1 2 3 4 5 are the natural numbers so this is the representation of natural numbers on number line now if we include zero in this set then the whole set becomes whole number whole number is denoted by w moving further integers integers are denoted by z so 
integers on a number line represents the points the real points which are 1 2 3 on the positive side and minus 1 2 3 on the negative side so all the sets or the set of numbers specifying 1 2 3 minus 1 2 3 including 0 is the integers so as you can see the arrow marked are positive integers on the right hand side and negative integers on the left side so these numbers are infinite again integers also include 0 0 is an integer which is neither negative nor positive so moving further we come to numbers called fractions fractions are numbers which are represented by a numerator and a denominator example 1 by 2 212 by 919 minus 3 by 8 etc fractions can be both positive and negative see here there is a representation of fractions on the number line so all the numbers excluding integers are called fractions now if we move further into the classification we come to rational numbers so all the integers and fractions combining together are called rational numbers a number r is called rational if it can be written in the form of p by q here p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 which is necessary for a number to be called rational moreover p and q have no factors other than 1 in common example minus 3 it can be written as minus 3 by 1 so here p becomes minus 3 and q becomes 1 which is not equal to 0 thus minus 3 and 1 has only 1 as the common factor and this makes minus 3 a rational number similarly 4 by 3 is also rational as p becomes 4 and q becomes 3 not equal to 0 and 4 and 3 are co-prime numbers further rational numbers are also called equivalent rational numbers example 1 by 3 which is equal to 3 by 9 6 by 18 infinitely it goes on so all the further fractions can be reduced to this base form 1 by 3 so all the numbers can be reduced to 1 by 3 so these have factors more than 1 such numbers are called equivalent rational numbers or fractions moreover all such equivalent rational numbers are represented by a single point on the number line corresponding to 1 by 3 that is the lowest reduced form moving on we come to irrational numbers there are certain numbers which cannot be denoted in the form p by q such numbers present on the number line are called irrational numbers example root 2 root 3 root 5 pi 0 0.101100110 4 times 1 0 dot 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 which goes on continuously so similar to rational numbers there are infinite number of rational numbers lastly we come to real numbers so a set of numbers combining of all the rational and irrational numbers is called real numbers all such numbers are present on the number line hence the number line can also be called as real number line thus moving on to the definition of the number line once again we'll see that a number line is a virtual straight line on which every point is assumed to correspond to a real number or every real number to a point hence the number line is also called a real number line certain facts about the lessons we have learned today integers are denoted by z here z comes from a german word zahlen which means to count
Rational numbers are denoted by Q. Here rational comes from the word ratio and Q is the abbreviated form of quotient. Co-prime numbers are number pairs having no common factors except 1, example 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. Some more facts. Irrational numbers were for the first time discovered by the Pythagoreans as root 2. It was called irrational because it cannot be represented in the form of ratio p by q. This discovery demolished all the old concepts they had about mathematics. Hence, they guarded it as a secret. There is a myth that Hippicus was killed because he revealed the secret of root 2 being irrational number to someone not belonging to Pythagorean school. Pi was known to many civilizations but was proved by Legendre and Lambert as irrational in the 1700s.